The Rise and Fall of Female Robots. If you remember this clip from 1997 from the hit movie Austin Powers with Mike Myers and this clip with the fembots, then fast forward in time to present day, then the rise and fall of fembots or female humanoid robots is not even a topic. Continuous growth or just the rise is probably what I should have titled this video. But anyways, let's get into it. Did you know that the future of robotics and artificial intelligent female human-like robots can offer so much more than just companionship? Yes, this is true. And the list can go on and on about how human-like robots are much more efficient in the workplace. But did you know that these female human-like robots are proven to increase the quality of life? making the world a better place? So surely, when we say that female human-like robots are taking over YouTube, it shouldn't really come as a surprise. And it's kind of more like finally getting the recognition they deserve. It's only really then when we will finally be living in 2077. And not because I really want to live in a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk universe, but because I think it would be a lot more of a happy environment, like the Jetsons universe, with flying cars and an EVTOL Airbus station in every district. Well, despite the differences between expectations and reality, most robotic researchers say that the study shows that human-like companion robots as well as robot pets, can be useful in promoting a healthy well-being. And not only artificial intelligence, but robots are helping to cope with anxiety, depression, and loneliness, while other robots have been scientifically proven to reduce depression and anxiety. In fact, even the human-like robots can act like pets with a more intellectual, artificial intelligent background. It's no secret that human-like robots generally have a good social reputation. In fact, many of us accept them in social media and on YouTube. But despite all the advances in artificial intelligence and robotics, there is still that notion that one day they will surpass the human in intelligence and capacity and is often envisioned in a post-apocalyptic scenario promoted in films, television, and or in some sci-fi literature, generating a certain fear in the advancements of robotics and technology. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. The global humanoid robot market size was accounted at 1.62 billion US dollars in 2022, and it's said to be expected to reach around 28.66 billion by 2032. And if you divide 28.66 billion by 1.62 billion, which is the market size today, that's more than a 17x, 17 times the market size by 2032. When electric vehicles first became popular in the 2000s, they didn't come without people speaking up against them. Of course, here in the year 2023, we all know how that turned out. 
And so a lot of the negative feedback about electric vehicles was really just coming from other car manufacturers and salesmen who weren't making or selling electric vehicles at the time. Now, of course, every car manufacturer is getting into the electric EV car game. And so one of the biggest negative things people would say, and I know because I was actually selling Volkswagens back in 2006. And one of the things I would say when someone would walk into the dealership asking which was a better choice, an electric Toyota Prius or a TDI turbo diesel Jetta? Well, I would always say, and of course, it's because I wanted to sell a Volkswagen. But so I would say, if you're thinking about the future and the environment, what do you think is going to happen to all the batteries in these electric cars in 30 to 40 years when they're all just sitting in a junkyard somewhere? And today, this is still very much and more so now an issue many car manufacturers deal with as they find more ways to reuse and recycle EV batteries. Okay, so what does this have to do with robots? Well, we're going to get to that because Although these issues are very real, the fact is the electric EV car battery problem is still a better direction for the future by lowering global carbon emissions from gasoline powered vehicles. So if the same were said about humanoid robots, female robots, well, the answer would be simple. These robots last forever and could easily be reused and recycled. So really, it isn't even a topic. But moreover, and a humanoid robot shouldn't be questioned. It's proven that robots improve our quality of life. And following the pandemic, I don't think anyone can question whether or not the entire world could use some improved quality of life. In addition to assisting people with disabilities, modern technologies, including robots and AI, contribute to the development of digital health, all while, of course, contributing to society. Robots save workers from performing dangerous tasks and so much more. In fact, the only real threat humanoid robots or artificial intelligent female love dolls pose would probably be towards women. And that right there is truly the post-apocalyptic scenario. Rather than the notion of robots surpassing humans, rather the human race no longer populating. Of course, because these robotic human-like female companions were perfect and artificially intelligent with giant boobs. So surely women would need to step up, be more assertive, or rather just more available. See what I did there? I really like that. Just be available. At SeaTech Japan, following on from last year, Iced demonstrated the HRP-4C Mimu, a female humanoid robot that sings. Oh, my God. 